What's going on, Torero fans? Welcome to Behind the Cape. I'm Ben Pearson, and we're here with head coach Dale Lindsay. Coach, crazy game last week, 35-33, emotional roller coaster win over Marist. How does your team move on from something like that and then get ready for the next game at Dayton? Well, we just told them that was not one of their better outings for 30 minutes, particularly in the first half. And we tried to make a few corrections that we could and, uh, you know, tell them that they, this, our big thing is you got to be ready when the whistle blows for the opening kickoff. You can't wait till the second half. And it doesn't make a difference who you're playing. And if you're playing even a, a team is not as good as you, you're going to have a long day. Uh, unfortunately for us, we were playing a good team. Maris is an exceptionally good football team, and we were very lucky to get out of there with a the win. And talk about the resilience your team showed. Like you said, a rough first half, but you guys battled back from a double-digit deficit to come back, had a great third quarter, and ultimately to win the game. Well, I think there's a lot of fight in this team, and they'll, they'll accept the challenge. They were challenged by myself and all the other coaches at halftime, and they knew what was at stake. And we, we keep telling them, you know, uh, uh, Father Mullen in his mass last week made a great point. He said every game that we have in the, in the Pioneer Football League right now is a playoff game. And so if you want to reach those uh, FCS playoffs, you, every week we're playing Dayton or anybody else, it's a playoff game. So we got we to treat it as such. We're here with wide receiver Sam Hoekstra. And Sam, talk about a game like that, obviously emotional roller coaster, but how do you guys move on and get ready for next week's opponent in Dayton? You know, that's a game that none of us have ever experienced, and it's something that kind of brought us more together. And um, I think it's it's great because practice this week has been something that's, you know, more focused, and we don't want a game like what happened to Maris where it's close like that. We want to just take control of the games and be more resilient throughout the games. You yourself, you had, you had a few catches, but you also had a big run on a reverse 44-yard run where you hurdled the defender. Have you ever done that in a game before? No, I can't say I have, but that was a great feeling just to get that run. and. You know, shout out to Thomas Cobbs and Cole Neon for a great block on that play. All right, last year against Dayton, you set a school record with 246 receiving yards. Uh, what do you see in their defense, and how can you uh, du or attempt to duplicate that performance this year? You know, I'd, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to go out and play, and I think, you know, if I just do what I did in practice today and just prepare well like I did all week, I think, you know, good things will happen. So I'm just going to rely on my practice. Yourself, Reggie, and Brandon White, you all have over 25 catches. Talk about the advantages of having so many talented receivers for Mason to throw to. You know, it's, it's great having guys like Reggie and Brandon because they just open the field up more for me. And uh, it's, it's something that's just awesome to have, you know. So we're just going to go out there and keep, you know, keep getting on the defense. So. All right, you guys are right on schedule 3-0 in PFL play. What needs to happen if you guys get that win in Dayton and go to 4-0? Just do what we do, you know. Just go out there and, and have a great game. Just all throughout the first quarter, second quarter, because last, last game it wasn't a, a fourth quarter game. It, we, we started in the second half, and we just got to go out, uh, finish fast, you know? All right, Treros look to stay undefeated in PFL play, looking to go 4-0 this Saturday at Dayton at 3 o'clock.